Hey guys, I'm Mel and welcome to another Wagashi Sunday. Okay, so we're, we're back. Um, I know it's been a little while and I know I've been kind of slack for the last couple of months. Um, and I guess my only really excuse, if, if I really have one at all, is that, um, yeah, it's just, it's been a process of adjusting to a new place and a new apartment and getting myself all settled in. Um, and yeah, it just works kind of crazy at this time of year. We've got lots going on, so um, yeah, then we kind of launched into summer holidays. I did a little bit of traveling, um, which I might, I don't know, I might be putting some stuff up from that. I think I did a video on my kind of experience in a business hotel, which you guys can check out. I might throw a link somewhere here. It's there. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's been a really great week and I'm just kind of at the tail end Sunday and I'm um, looking at heading back to work tomorrow, which I'm kind of excited about, which is weird. I know. Um, yeah, I really, I really miss my kids. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing them tomorrow and it'll be, it will be good. It'll be lots of fun. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll be a great, very exciting new kind of semester term, whatever, um, coming up, heading into the end of the year and Christmas and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so I guess I really wanted to show you guys a, another wagashi and get back into the the flow of things when it comes to Wagashi Sundays. So hopefully um, this will be the first of regular videos again. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I really appreciate it. Okay, so for today's Wagashi, um, I kind of picked up something that I thought, I know I've definitely seen around the place um, in especially Osaka um, and just around, um, especially during kind of summer. It's a very summer wagashi um, and I think it's supposed to be quite cooling or that could be a different type. Anyway, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very traditional. You find it kind of everywhere and that is Safa Mochi. So if you guys can see without me horribly tipping it all over the floor. Um, so this is Safa Mochi and if you can see, let me try and pick one up. So you have the little um, mochi kind of ball, so you're just your standard um, daifuku mochi, so it's got uncle in the middle, um, the mochi kind of wrapped around it, and then it's actually wrapped in a sus leaf. So a sus leaf is a bamboo leaf. Um, you'll hear the term sasa used quite a lot, especially in things like tanabata. Um, the sasa is kind of like the branch that all of the different decorations kind of attached to. So it's, it's a pretty kind of common um, thing in Japan. So yeah, this is Sasamochi. It's supposed to be um, quite quite smooth in texture. I mean, that's kind of what it's famous for. So yeah, I thought we'd try. So we've just got like the plain white mochi and then we've also got Yomogi mochi. I can show you guys. Um, and this is the green one. And this is actually quite, um, it's actually, the Yomogi, I guess, is mugwort in English. And um, yeah, it's actually quite popular. It's very famous. Like these are probably the two big types of mochi that you will see um, most commonly sold in Japan. So um, I know there's a place in Nara, which I really want to check out, um, which is kind of famous for Yomogi mochi. Um, and then they actually make it there. So hopefully I'll get to show you guys that. But um, yeah, that's the two types that we have for our wagashi today. And ooh, I'm dropping them everywhere. Ooh, okay. Um, so I thought let's let's try. Um, let's try the uh, let's try just the normal straight plain mochi. Okay, itadakimasu. All right, guys. So <laughs> mochi's dog my dude. Mm. So it's it's really really smooth. It's really just normal kind of mochi, but very much smoother than you usually kind of find it. Um, yeah, really, really good. And I guess I think the salsa, like the bamboo leaf, actually kind of imparts a little bit of flavour to it as well. Like, like the sakura leaf in sakura mochi, like the oak leaf in kao kao. <laughs> Testing my memory now. Was it kawa kawashi? 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 Hmm. I'm gonna put that down here somewhere because I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, the children's day mochi um, with the oak leaf. All these kind of leaves impart a little bit of a, a flavour and a taste um, to the mochi, um, which is kind of I think one of the reasons they're probably used. So yeah, that's really good. Um, yeah, let's try the yomogi variety. So, it's that mouse again. 
Mm. So the Yomogi variety is kind of a little bit more, a little bit more herbal, I guess, for want of a better word. But yeah, it's, I don't know, you kind of expect it with um, the leaves in the mochi. It's going to taste a little bit different. Um, probably not as kind of just clean and simple as the standard white mochi, but um, really, really good anyway. Um, yeah, I guess the big thing with these and with food, I think, in general in um, in countries or cultures that you might not be used to it's just give things a go don't be afraid just because it's something you haven't tried before um, you never know whether you're gonna like it or hate it or <laughs> what um, but you know you're missing out on experience if you don't try so um, yeah really really worth checking out is your mochi mochi as well um, so yeah that's kind of my wagashi for today um, so again this is sasa mochi um, had a very fun time trying to figure out what the hell this stuff was um, only because I've seen it heaps but I haven't actually heard much about it um, at least from my experience so I was trying to <laughs> go through and work out from the clue <laughs> like the it's obviously on the packaging it's all written in like calligraphy and I couldn't figure out what the kanji were and I was having a bit of a stress attack but anyway uh, we got there in the long run I um, kind of figured it out so um, yeah sazo mochi um, just kind of daifuku mochi wrapped it in a sasa leaf or a bamboo leaf and um, yeah it's really common around this kind of time of year in Japan so definitely worth checking out Alright guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that game back to the normal, um, normalcy, I guess, normalcy, normalcy, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, yeah, just kind of the normal thing and I'm really hoping to kind of get back into that thing, um, that kind of pattern over the next couple of weeks. So hopefully, if you guys are a big fan of Wagashi Sundays, so there's a couple of you that really enjoy it, I guess. Um, yeah, next Sunday there will be another one and I'm going to try and actually stick to it this time, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like that. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I um, always love talking to you guys. Um, yeah, I, I guess sometimes I'm a little bit slack and it takes me a while to <laughs> respond. Um, but yeah, and that's one of the things I love most about YouTube is getting to connect with people and talk to people and meet new people and um, yeah so definitely leave me a comment if you guys are curious about anything about wagashi or things that you've tried or things about kansai <laughs> um, anything I'm always happy to talk guys so um, I guess until next time I hope you guys have a great one I will talk to you very soon and until then bye